Now for this next piece, I'm going to show you how to zigzag around the entire perimeter of this card. And um, you're not going to sew off the edge, so you're not going to be taping any threads behind. So what you're going to need to do is lock the stitch, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to start by positioning my card with the two pieces meeting right at the line of the presser foot, in the center of the presser foot, and I'm going to take a couple stitches. Then I'm going to use the back, this, this makes it go backwards, and I'm going to press this down and go back a couple stitches, and now I'm going to go around the entire perimeter. Now what I've done there is I've locked those first couple of stitches, so as I once I'm done sewing, when I cut the threads, the threads won't just unravel because they've been locked. All right, we're going to get a, a better close-up view now for this next part. So now we have a close-up view, and I'm going to do a zigzag stitch almost to the very end, but I'm going to stop, and I'm going to show you how to turn when doing your stitching. Okay, so now I'm going to take one more stitch, but I'm going to do it by hand using the wheel. And then I'm going to lift my presser foot. I'm going to turn the paper a quarter turn and drop the presser foot again. Now with that, that's going to give me a nice corner. do that one more time. I'm going to take one more stitch and then with the needle still down I'm going to turn it a quarter of a turn and position it again. Drop the presser foot. And here comes my last corner. Again, lifting my presser foot, turning a quarter turn, dropping the presser foot, oops, and continuing on. Now, one more stitch, and now I'm going to lock my stitches by again back, going backwards and going forwards again. And now I can raise my presser foot up, and I can cut my stitches away, my threads away, rather. Now you can see on my corners, I've just gone right around the corners, and I'm finished. And you can get a, a pair of cutter bee scissors or something, sewing scissors, to get real close on those stitches. And now with my other piece, and you can see how when I lay that, let me press those back down onto the, we don't really need that much of the thread hanging. And you can see now when I place my cardstock on there, it gives it a nice finished look on the edges and I've got sewing all around my perimeter. Sewing on cards makes them even more special by creating a warm homemade feel. And now you can see how easy it is to do. Feel free to post any sewing questions in our forum at StampTV.com. We'll do our best to help you add this wonderful technique to your paper crafting.